as well. Just on the inside, Albanese looks for a shorter line. Easy on the brakes as the round, what could be quite a slippery corner. Mollum is still on the front. Approaching 500 metres to go, Balka Mollema looks round, checks, sees that Tom Scrunch is still there to ride for Maz Pedersen. Albanese looking very cool on the wheel of the Danish rider. Michael Matthews looking still and patient and waiting with Caden Groves alongside him too. Oscar Rizabek chicks and sees that the young Australian is still there. Primoz Roglic and, uh, and Remco Evenepoel are going to be spectators as the battle is going to come from the fast men who remain in this group. A couple of hundred metres to go and they're dipping downhill and sweeping right-handed on damp roads and out of sight temp. Temporarily, Mads Pedersen still hasn't quite pulled the trigger. Albanese on the perfect wheel. 300 metres to go now. Albanese waiting to open up his sprint. But still it's Tom Scrunch. Still he's going to lead up Mads Pedersen. Here comes Michael Matthews though. He's the first of the sprinters to really open it up. Pedersen alongside him. Matthews pushing for the line. Matthews dipping his head. Matthews is wheel on front now. Groves looking for room on the inside. Matthews going to hold the ball off, is he? Pedersen coming with a charge. But it's Matthews. And our after all that work, Jaco Alula have a leader who can deliver. And once again, after a long, long wait for a victory at the Giro d'Italia, Michael Matthews, grinning from ear to ear, takes a brilliant victory in chaotic circumstances here in Melfi.